Um, I think what I like most about St. Lawrence College, it's hard to sum up in just like one, one quick answer, but one of the things that I love the most about being here is the staff. Like since I've been here, the staff have encouraged me to be the best version of myself that I can be. Being here and being in an environment where you're continually encouraged and you're told that there's no wrong way, right? That, you know, everybody learns differently and you have to find your way in order to learn and to become the, the best version of who you want to be, whether it's academically or personally. So the Eagle Cafe Centre is a great resource for students, both Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal, to utilize. Um, I consider Marianne to be kind of my own counsellor, even though she's, she's not. Um, she's an academic counsellor, but she's also somebody that I know that I can go to and I can talk about personal situations. I come to the uh, Ego Learning Cafe at least once a week, try to make myself available and so I talk to uh, the uh, advisor here and it makes my uh, college life a little bit more easier there. My favorite part about being at the Ego Cafe is the atmosphere of being like at home. It's more comfortable than any other area in the school. I feel more like I can be myself. Um, they're very accepting. We have all cultures come through here. The Eagle Cafe is an Aboriginal center within St. Lawrence College where any member of the college can come and study, use computers, just chit chat. There's a study room in the back. Um, Mary Ann is the Aboriginal um, academic counselor here at the Eagle Cafe and I've had personal counseling with her uh, on the academic um, level and also on a personal level. She's a great person, great mentor, and she'll help you with anything. And if she can't, then she'll steer you in the right direction. So we like to say that we're here from application to convocation. So we are here throughout the college journey. In terms of counseling, um, I do have a counseling background. I do have a degree in psychology, but I don't work as a counselor here. I work as a student services provider. So we have an Eagle Learning Cafe, which is another word for the Aboriginal Centre, on all of our campuses. The one in Kingston is the oldest. It has been running for about seven years. And it provides basically a safe Place for Aboriginal students um, to come and meet each other and uh, just hang out, socialize, work on the computers, just spend time with each other. And it's not that we're trying to eliminate them from being in the general college, it's just a safe place. So the difference in service is quite profound in that I, in Kingston, am oftentimes uh, called upon to play the role of, um, of surrogate mother or sister or auntie or something like that because of the home connection not being very close by. So in Cornwall it's much more academically driven and Kingston it is all encompassing. So basically the services are about academic retention and success but for as far as we can stretch our budget we also try very hard to provide some cultural things as well so uh, to that end we have an elder in the Kingston campus who comes in once a week for two hours and she's here for advisement oftentimes she will conduct a smudging ceremony um, do crafts that kind of thing so basically in terms of the services we are as I said academic success academic retention so we want students to navigate the college system as well as any who are non-Indigenous. So we have lots of services here. We have college prep, which allows you to come to school free of charge and get some upgrading if your high school diploma is older or if it isn't meeting the needs of entry. So it doesn't have enough uh, of what the college determines are the credentials to get into a particular program. So college prep can fix that. We also have our math and writing center. We have counseling. We have all kinds of services that students can access. And my job largely is to put them in touch with people because I am the first job. Um, I think that if there's any words of advice that I could give to any future students or any people that have ever felt in the same position as I am, that it's never too late. You're never, you're never too old and you're never too young to pursue what you want in life. And whether that's post-secondary education or it's, it's something else, it's never, it's never too late. Like really just follow your dreams and follow your hearts. Heart.